applying the delay audio effect. So here I have in my timeline, I have an audio clip. If I come over here into my effects, you see I have a list of effects. If I go to my audio effects, you can see I have delay and echo. If I expand that, I have delay. So I am going to drag and drop that onto the audio one track. Up here in my effects, you'll see I have the delay. And in here, in the delay, right here, I have one second. It'll go between zero and two seconds. I could play this and adjust it. Also, I have the feedback. So this delay is the amount of time before the echo starts playing. So in the feedback, we are talking about the percentage of echo to create multiple delaying effects. And then down in the mix, we are having the amount of echo. So what we can do is we could play our audio. And I'll play this. And you can see right now I have a one second echo. And I can put a little less echo gives a little more feel. And let's put a lot of echo in. So with a little bit of delay, it gives a little fuller sounding to it. Right? And I can go and turn it off. And then in my feedback, I'll turn that off. And and hang on here. And so we also have the mix, which is the volume. So these, these effects then will basically allow us to have the delay properties of those three things, the feedback, um, the delay, and the mix. So the delay is the amount of time before the echo starts playing. The feedback is the percentage of echo to create multiple uh, echoes. And the mix is used to control the amount of e echo. Okay. So this is our delay audio effect and it applies to the whole audio track.